Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy, Jim the Hippie Redneck Geek and we're out here getting ready to start working on the deck and uh, so the first thing we got to do is take and build these 2x8 uh, pieces that's going to go across here. Uh, so I'm starting off with a 2x8 16s and then I cut a 2x8 uh, 12 into uh, 3 4 foot lengths here so basically it's going to be 2x8 uh, 16s plus 4 20 foot long so that's 20 foot that goes from side to side. So. We're going to take and do this here. Take and show you this here as we can go along here. We're going to video that, do this here. We're doing this here with my phone because uh, I seem to have uh, left the camera going out here without it running and uh, without it recording. And uh, we ran the battery down. So, uh, and I don't have the uh, long enough cable for charging it. Wait a second. I do have a long enough cable for charging it in the house somewhere so we'll I'll go and get it in just a bit here but we're going to take do this here initially <coughs> here using my phone all right so first we're going to do we've got a 16 foot two by eight here and a four foot four foot piece here we're going to take sandwich these together here and then we come back here we can put another 16 foot on here and put four foot down there at that end so got some three inch screws All right, so now we got that, we're going to get another 2x8 16, we're going to put on here and start screwing that down and then we'll cut it to the length of 20 foot. Okay, stop. First one. All right, so we've added this, another 4 foot, we flipped this here over, we've added a 4 foot here. So this is exactly 20 foot here to the end, so I'm going to have to cut this other one here. After we get it done, we can cut that other, that extra off there. We'll take trim, trim the other one there. Drill it. And let's get the shear, squeeze this together. So that's all we're going to do right for that, and then now I got to shrink trim this here piece right here, right there at the tw at the twenty foot mark. Let me show. So. All right. Uh, He's so. talking about that little piece right there. Yeah. So I got to cut that there. I got to get the tilt uh, off. So I'm going to roll this here back over. Tough man. All right. Strong man. And this is going to be fun cutting it up here, this high up here, at shoulder level. Sounds fun. Yes. So, I'm going to square this off up here. Get a square. And we get here and we'll mark it up so we have the right distance. All right, and then double check on this other side, we're the same. There we go. All right, so that's where I got to cut. Okay. All right. You got the cutting line. You're gonna have to un unhook the phone. Turn it off. Stop. All right. So now I got to cut this here. This is gonna be this is fun cutting up here at this angle here. You can go uh, for the back. Uh, Shoulders think. actually. So this is gonna be fun up here. You want me to hold it or not? I got it here. I just got to get. Gotta get my. Huh? There we go. Oh, there it goes. All right. There she goes. So now we got. Oh, boys. Now we got one to replace that one, that very first one over there. Uh, so one closest have... to the door. Yeah, the one closest to the drawer. That's the one we're going to replace first. That's what this in here is for. So, screwing time. Next step. Time. Next step is to remove that one there. But we've got to put the. Uh, we got. That's 
the, we got two that are braced up. Okay, and we'll have to we'll have to adjust the bracing here to get that back vertical again. This has been moved all over the place here over the years. Okay. So uh, we're going to remove this here. We got we got four screws, at least four screws. We got to take pull off off the out of this here out, off the deck. Uh, and we'll take and move that one there. We're just going to pull that out of there. Drop this in here in place. And I actually have uh, um, some, some strong ties that are put this here back together here with to put this up in place um, a little bit better than just with screws sticking 45 uh, angled in, toenailed into the tops of these things. So that's what one of the things we want to do different. So apparently we missed a video of us taking out that first set of two by eights and putting in this new one here but uh here we are putting uh, the simpson strong ties in place here and uh getting it put in place here um we realize that uh we need some additional bracing at least for to get us started here to um um keep things going and here we are moving in the second piece uh we didn't get the video of us taking the second piece out, but we got a video of us putting the second piece in place anyway. So uh, this thing is heavy, and uh, so we're trying to get, get it in place here. Um, and uh, as we get it in place here, um, we realize that it's uh, got to be, well, we have to measure it out to uh, make sure it's in place so it's uh, the right distance from the wall. And uh, so we got to uh, do some adjusting of the bracing here. And we got a lot of temporary bracing in here just to keep it so that it uh, uh, keep everything, all the uprights and everything in place. We have a lot more bracing in here that we would, nor that is normally needed for the deck here just to keep all these uprights in the, the place that we need them. Uh, so we start working on the deck here. So um, we're getting everything adjusted out here to get the, um, skids here whatever you want to call these and i don't know what you would call these here with the, the joists go on top of this here so we got uh get these in the right place so the first ones uh are 24 inches from the wall the next ones are uh it's eight foot from the wall uh in the center here and the next one's 12 foot from the wall in the center here so we have to have them in place so when we put the joists on plate in there they actually set in there the way we wanted to set so we're over there measuring out adjusting Adjusting and adjusting and keep, keep adjusting the uh, uh, Each of the different braces until we get it uh, get everything in the place that we want it So we're constantly adjusting here taking getting everything in place we got that second row in place there and uh, then we um, Start putting on the uh, after we get the uh, bracing adjusted. Apparently, there's a part here where part here where we can't see here. So, uh, yeah, I'm over here trying to get it, it everything squared up here, making sure we got everything's uh, lined up here for the square. And uh, something is not coming out right. It's just not looking right to me. I'm taking looking at it and I said, "There's got to be something wrong here with it because um, it's looking to be about." At, at least here at eight foot we're looking to be about uh, an inch and a half out of square um, and uh, so it was assumed that whenever we built the addition on the started building the addition on deck that this deck was square but apparently it wasn't so we uh, I'm here trying to figure this out here and Nick's in the house he had to uh, go go take a bathroom break so I'm sitting here trying to figure out the square here and trying to figure out some other things wife brings out some us uh, some water here uh, because uh, it's hot out there that day and I'm sitting there trying to keep figure out why this thing f seems so out of square um, and uh, I sit down to take a take a little break there and uh, while waiting for that and he comes out and he gets the uh, the um, starts putting on these uh, um, the strong ties here while I'm taking a little bit of a break here uh, since he got himself a little bit of a break inside the house there um, but he's getting the strong ties in here, uh, getting this here all tied up to the, um, right, um, the posts there and, uh, get those, uh, in place 
And uh, so we get this here done. We can play around a little bit more. He's got, he's trying to, uh, yeah, he's got everything working there, tearing apart. We're bringing over the boards here so we can build out the third right. third setup here. He's got the two 16-footers there. We got them there. And uh, so we got to put uh, these here two together here. Um, and uh, so apparently the camera is not pointing, is missing the corner down there where I'm working. And uh, so it's... It's missing, missing a little bit of what I'm working on, uh, what I'm working on, but uh, we're getting there. So getting through the screwing, screwing these two, two together here, rolling over, get the uh, four by in here. So um, get this here, this, get this and put together here. So you can measure it out to the twenty foot here and get it cut. Um, this takes a little bit of time here. Uh, we'll do this here and. Uh, And uh, Nick gets ready to start tearing apart the, uh, uh, taking out the old one here. He's taking out, doing the screws here. And uh, we've got to pull out the, that electrical wire. We've got, to, we've got a staple on it there. Had to get the electrical wire off. So here we come out trying to get this shirt thing out. This thing, these things are heavy. We try and try to take it apart here into two pieces. Uh, whenever I built this here, I apparently I built this with two ten, uh, two ten footers. Or four ten footers and everything, so I didn't really do a good job of making them stronger like I have the new ones here. But uh, so we got uh, this here. We're taking, trying to move this around here. Things these things are heavy, so we use the taking tr try to slide around as much as possible, so as don't have to lift the weight uh, to get it in place here. So we got to take do a little bit of adjusting of these. Uh, um, bracing here so we get everything in the right place here make sure everything's uh good here so we've got to do some bracing on that end one there we just get at least get a brace temporary brace in there so that it's standing up so we when we move everything on top of it then it's I'm in dead. place so we get it in place here try to I'm figure dead. this get it all I'm out dead. and uh so i'm now we're measuring it out from the wall taking setting the bracing uh so we've got to adjust the bracing to get it out measured out 12 foot from the wall and uh, we're going to do each of the braces here as we can go move along here so we can get everything in place to make sure everything fits and that it's in I all in place. And uh, I can run working on the getting the bracing here in the right place here. We got to. It's a shame. It looks like, uh, oh, that one. <laughs> That one four by four is not uh, not even up in place. There it is. Okay, it looked like it was laying over there. It's like, wow, that thing's uh, way out. Now. So, uh, so now he's putting the uh, um, ties on, so we get this here in place. And uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of adjusting here as we go along I here, because uh, the it. you put the uh, we put the um, um, bracing up there, and now it's in the way of putting the strong tie in. So he had to. Undo the bracing, put the strong tie in on, and uh, okay. so and readjust everything again. Did you circle shade? Okay, bye, everything moves. Every time you need to move one thing, yeah, something else moves on it. That's because with everything tied together, it just becomes a mess. And uh, so. Now I'm trying to explain to him what next, what needs to be done here next year to they can get uh, um, the joists and everything. Because my brain wasn't thinking here. We needed the um, um, joist, uh, the deck joist tape here first before we take started doing the chair. So we started, I started getting the joists out and getting them cut to length here, forgetting that we needed the joist tape. And uh, so. <laughs> um, I didn't realize that uh, the joist tape that I bought, uh, they shipped me the wrong joist tape, and I, I bought it two weeks, three weeks ago. So uh, I can't even prove they can ship me the wrong joist tape now. Um, so after now, we'll order some new joist tape, and I had to wait for that before we can continue on. Uh, uh, that's uh, a two-day wait. So we're actually out here. This uh, we're out here on Fourth of July, I believe. Here, doing this here or the weekend before Fourth of July. Um, 
so we had to we actually had to wait until after fourth of july to do any further here but uh because i i couldn't get the tape in until the fifth so um but uh at least we got uh, a bunch of the, we got most of the joists we got all the joists brought in and cut uh before we put the joist tape down uh so our i think we got all the joists in and cut well we got almost all of them here and uh so And then get the joist tape in here. We finally get the joist tape. We start laying it down. So this is the joist we have here. This is just for half of the deck. This is the first half that's closest to the uh, to the house here. here. Um, the joist to get half of it. So we got uh, two rolls of the four inch joist four tape here to go over the, to cut over the uh, these the two by eights that are you know sandwiched together here. So the it's like three and a half inches wide. So four inch tape goes over it, covers over it nice and nicely and uh so because all the joists are laying hair on top of it we've got to take and roll it on we get so far then we got to move all the joists over and uh then we can work on then we can get the uh, joist tape further on move the, the joists again we get to do this three times here and uh get the joist uh, get the joist tape on the uh, on here before we take move on over and uh so uh, I think these rolls are 50 foot rolls and we're doing 20 foot here from side to side plus the eight inches on each end so 16 inches so you know we basically we did 42 foot 43 foot on 50 foot rolls so it was like you know six seven foot left and uh, so we have to uh, get out another roll here and uh, we'll end up using up the last of this roll here when we didn't do the uh the last section of it here at the back of here at the uh yeah, very far out side uh far back of the deck here when we get to that point uh we haven't even started working on that yet uh we did work on a little bit but uh it's just some ideas right now because it's got to be adjusted slightly because i'm got making a little slight adjustments to the deck here uh so now i've got to go through and mark out where the joists are going to go here so that they uh um, so we put the joists in the right place here so i have 16 inch centers uh, two by sixes on 16 inch centers. So, our the biggest gap I've got here is four foot gap um, between the the first one and the second one. It's the biggest four, back gap. I have the four foot gap. So I mean I've got more than enough strength here. I mean I could take. I'm kind of slightly over engineered here on this deck here as far as uh, uh, needs here. But uh, so I should yeah four foot no six foot. That's the six foot span. There goes two foot and eight foot. Okay. So a six foot span there. So we're doing pretty good here. So now we're getting out the uh, strong ties. It's the wrong strong, strong ties. We're going to get the other box here strong ties. So these are actually hurricane ties that we use here to take the add the um, joist to the. Um, uh, in place here so each of the uh each of the joists here we measure out where they're going to go so we make sure they, they actually land on to those pieces as uh at the right place here at the, as well and so we go through here mark out each one so you can set each of the joists in place here we have a so it starts off we do an eight foot joist a 12 foot joist an eight foot joist 12 foot joist eight foot. so it alternates so that you get in the center and then there's two eight foot joists side by side in the center here uh, and that's uh, reduce reduce that for reason because the uh, very outside are t 16 foot two by eight 16s because that's the edge the 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 side edge of the the because we do 16 inches on the sides with a four four foot cut in so we're cutting out four uh, four foot section off the corner just to give it a diagonal just to give a little bit of um so interest to it instead of just being square at the back so it's uh the outside joist is a 16 footer the next one's an eight footer then a 12 footer an eight footer 12 footer eight footer and because it's an uneven uh, because it's an even number so it, it uh route ends up that way so then when we tie it together then we'll be doing 12 foot and eight foot so that ties ties it everything back to uh uh each other to make it stronger so the uh um so now i've got him now actually doing the measuring uh of the uh joist so he knows exactly where to put them so getting him to understand how the all this works and uh so he's measured out all this two by eight joist and everything so now he's going over and getting them in place and and uh um so 
I'm making a nice little worker out of Nick here, taking, showing him how to take, build a deck. Um, and he came down for the summer, up for the summer, I should say, because he wanted to work on the deck. So he wanted to work on the other deck. He didn't realize that we were going to work on this deck here. And because uh, I didn't realize we were going to work on this deck here until I uh, went out there and started looking at it. Um, I didn't know it was as bad as it was. But uh, so we're working on getting all these joists in here. So um, we're going to, it's going to be going through here, putting in the joists. Uh, it takes a little bit of time here. It doesn't take that long. So we are out here in the middle of the heat here um, on the 4th of July, putting these joists in here. And, uh, oh, excuse me, no, this is the week, Saturday after the 4th of July doing this here. And uh, it's right here at, right at noontime here. And we get these here um, put in a place here and uh, take a lunch break. And uh, decided to take, wait till it gets a little bit cooler in the evening before we come back out because we are dying out here. So here it is, uh, like seven o'clock in the evening or something, six or seven o'clock in the evening, when the temperature comes down quite a bit here before we come back out here and to put uh, the rest of the joists in place here. And uh, so while he's over there starting to put the joists in place, I'm over here working on this um, diagonal cut over here and uh, get to a point where I need his help here to get him over here to help me move this block. Uh, while well, we adjust it here, because I'm trying to figure out, make sure this is how we want this year to go. And you know, <clears throat> uh, we didn't realize that we didn't miss the uh, uh, markings over there. He's over like, wait, hey, I can't know where to put this here, so. So I forgot the markings, so we got to go back and take and finish up the markings because we had only done it for those that first bunch of uh, joists there. So we have to get back here, and then I explained to him, you know, why we're doing it this way, uh, so that it ties the two pieces back and forth from side to from part to part here, so that it's stronger that way instead of having all the joists tied together at the same place. Um, <laughs> And we get over there, and uh, it's like, oops, we forgot the very first markings on the first one here, so we got to go and do that as well. So we get those marked out, and uh, um, he then he goes, I need my pencil sharpened here, so I got to sharpen the pencil for him. And uh, then he can roll out the uh, those joists there for, in place for him. And, getting him to didn't go where the markings are so he tries to remember where all those markings are at but uh, he, he he's constantly asking to make sure he gets the right ones and he's off by an inch or two sometimes and but he eventually gets there and he's you know trying to get him there so I'm here trying to get this uh, edge this diagonal here trying to take and figure out this diagonal again and I give up on it for a while. It's like, it's just, this just ain't working out for what I'm thinking here, and something ain't right. And <coughs> this is a, my brain just ain't working right. So I give up on messing with that uh, corner here after a little bit here. And uh, excuse my cough there. Um, so I go back and help him get those last two in place here and I do some playing around with this here some more and keep playing around with it keep playing around with it and I'm like well that still ain't right still ain't right and and uh, I just get to a point it's like I get frustrated with it and I says eh screw it and I think that was about it right there I said finally said yeah screw it there so I go over there and uh, wait for him to finish up this year I know, well, oh yeah, I just went and got got us some water, and uh, wait for him to finish putting those uh, ties on the joists there. <coughs> All the while, I'm constantly talking to him, to, uh, you know, explaining things to him while he 
you know, he asks questions and stuff, and I explain th things to him about why things are done a certain way and stuff, and I give an explanation, I, the best explanation I know, so, uh, it's, uh, I'm not, uh, uh, I don't do this for a living, I don't do construction work stuff for a living, but, uh, um, I have grown up having to build things all my life, uh, I grew up on a farm, we had to build sheds and, and fences and stuff, so I just kind of, the stuff I've just kind of figured out on my own, and, uh, figured out how to do, do things, so, I've, uh, I just go out and do it, so, I live, I don't live on a farm now, I just live on acreage, and, uh, so, I think, let's see, I have five acres here, and, uh, so, there's a lot of things I just just got to do. It's like that uh, green shed over there in the top left corner. There, I built that a couple years ago. Um. So apparently, the battery died on the camera that we were doing uh, this here with here, and uh, so I'm going to take show you here a little bit here. So we've got these. Let's see if we can get it here. The 16 footer here. This is a uh, 16 foot here. This is going to be the last joist in this year. We got another one over there on that end over there as well. And it started working on this di the uh, diagonal part here that comes across here. So the uh, we've got the end of it here. I've got another. Got to cut another board here to uh, see if I can get this here to show this a little bit better here. So we got to got to put another one here. And then got to move this this whole section here. It's got to be moved this way here, uh, four inches. I don't know how four to six inches. I got to measure it out here, make sure it fits right here as well. And then I got to work on this part right here as well because it's not in the right place. In fact, there's a big if you can see over there's a big huge gap there underneath of it. So it's. Uh, needs to uh we need to get it raised up a little bit so i need to cut another uh another one of these four by fours at least to get it here i need to get make sure this is all level across here this looks good here it just looks like it drops down over there because all this here looks to be no actually this whole back in here this whole back in here is a couple inches low so this here's all has to be i need to cut new two by four or four by fours here or at least put put it on something put something underneath of it here to bring this up to level here uh, and we'll get that done in here but we're going to end we're going to end this video here this is going to be part one of the uh, rebuilding the deck this is going to be the end of the video here and uh, uh, it will have a another one another video out in about a week or two uh, with part two, which hopefully will be getting the rest of the joists in here, because we're gonna have all the joists that come from there out to out to here. Uh, this is uh, about where it's at. Oh, oh, nice. We got a cicada here. Yes, nice. And he's still alive. He hasn't uh, hasn't molted yet. Uh, but we're going to take and bring that. It'll be it, the deck will come out to right about right about here. So that'd be twenty foot out. And uh, we'll get these joists in here, the rest of the joists in here, and then we'll get the deck joists uh, tape on top of all these joists here, and we'll start getting the decking put in place. And before we get that started, we're going to go over and work on the, that deck over there, uh, get it squared up to this here so that it mates up with it properly, and get it all tied in. And then we can take and put it all together and we'll just take start running decks deck. Well, I've also got to cut, do the part over there to cut out for the uh, hot tub to go into as well. So I got to get that part. So we got to get this, this finished here, that cut out for the hot tub, and then we start running decking through. So that will be coming up here very soon. Uh, hopefully the next video will be just, we'll be finishing out this part here though, uh, bringing out the joists and getting this back section here 
and getting that squared up over there. Um, at least that's the plan for the next video. We may get further. just depends on how far we can get. So, thanks for watching. And please subscribe and click the notifi notification bell if you want to take, see more of these videos. Uh, they're going to be kind of irregular, but here on the deck here it's going to be as regular as I can possibly get.